G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to divide thirds. Now, thirds are numbers which can be expressed basically only exactly as a root with a root sign. So, uh, they're rational numbers. An example, this might be, say, uh, the square root of 2. Now, look, you could work this in on a calculator and you could get the answer of, say, 1.4142136 and even maybe even some more numbers depending on how many uh, numbers your calculator spat out. But these decimals would never hit a stage where they are actually become recurring or they would never actually terminate. So this number is expressed most exactly as a third here. Now we're going to be looking at how to divide these. Looking at first off non-third, particular non-third um, uh, examples, because this is actually can easily show us the rule we would use here. And I think people can get thrown by thirds because of that uncertainty with them. So an example of, say, a question without using a third. Say we did say something like the square root of uh, 36 and we divided this by the square root of 9. Now both of these numbers are not thirds because the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 9 is 3. So 6 divided by 3 probably work out equals 2. So the square root of 36 divided by the square root of 9 is actually equal to the square root of, or well the square root, of, well the answer which gives us the square root of 2 is 4. Well, the answer that gives us 2 is the square root of 4. So 30, the square root of 36 divided by the square root of 9 equals the square root of 4. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. I hope you can see that, okay? But what you're going to see is the square root of this number divided by this number, so 36 divided by 9 equals 4 itself. So we can create a rule with this, okay, which is this. The square root of, for this particular example, a divided by the square root of b equals the square root of a divided by b. Okay, do you see this? The square root of this divided by the square root of this actually equals the square root of this divided by this. Okay. So we've got our particular rule here that we can use. So let's use this. I'll rewrite it again up here. So the square root of A divided by the square root of B equals the square root of A divided by B. So an example of this could be as follows. So say we did say something like... Uh, the square root of um, 21 divided by the square root of 7. Okay, something nice and easy. And the answer to this would be, because if we actually substituted this in, it would be the square root of 21 divided by 7, which would be equal to the square root of 3. Okay, and that's how we divide thirds. It's fairly simple, yeah? Um, and the other type of example that you might see if you're getting this type of question, you know, especially, look, I know that a lot of this will be in maths books, I'll give you an example that you also might get with these. You might get, say, some examples that look like this, where they like to do things like, um, you might get it written as a fraction where you say, get, say, something like, um, what about we do 20, the square root of 30, divided by... Um, 5, the square root of 5. Okay, now what is the answer to this? Now the way that we do this is as follows. So this just means this amount divided by this amount. So first off what we actually do is we just divide these normal numbers amount. So we could actually get this as uh, 20 divided by 5. Okay, so 20 divided by 5. And this is actually going to be times by, because we're just times in by this amount here, uh, the square root of 30 over 5. Okay? So 20 divided by 5, okay? So we could have just done that before. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And we've got the square root of 30 divided by 5. So the square root of 6. And that's our answer. Okay, so hopefully that's some help there. Um, maybe I'll just go through one last example just to see how you go with these. 
a lot of people feel uncomfortable with surge a lot of the time. So we'll go through just one more example of these. Uh, so say we do something like, um, uh, let's go 9 and the square root of um, 25 divided by um, 3 the square root of, no, you guess I'm going to do it 5, yeah? So how do we work this out? So 9 divided by 3 is 3. Uh, and we're going to get the square root of 25 divided by 5, which is 5. Okay, so hopefully you feel pretty good with these. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to be actually looking at then going through adding, subtracting thirds, and then maybe simplify thirds a little bit. And hopefully you'll be around for those. So see you next time. Okay.